the highly anticipated Google I.O. 2025 was held on May 20th and it delivered a wave of announcements. With powerful upgrades to tools like Gemini, smarter search experiences and new AI-driven features across Android, the event showed how creators, developers and everyday users can now do more with technology that's faster and more helpful. So, let's check out what's in store. Let's start with Gemini AI. Google announced the advanced deep think mode for its Gemini 2.5 Pro model. This enhances the AI's ability to process complex tasks with deeper reasoning and better accuracy, making it more powerful for users who need sophisticated assistance. Another update that is making buzz is the integration of Project Astra with Gemini Live. By incorporating Project Astra's camera and screen sharing capabilities, users can ask Gemini questions about screenshots and live video. This is rolling out to all compatible Android and iOS devices. Another significant announcement is the Agent Mode. This experimental mode will be available in the Gemini app for subscribers. This will help automate tasks like apartment hunting, finding listings, adjusting filters, and even scheduling tours. The AI-powered deep research feature is also becoming more versatile by allowing users to upload their files and soon connect to Google Drive and Gmail for enhanced custom research reports. Gemini is expanding its integration across Android devices, including smartwatches, cars, TVs, and XR headsets. Google has also introduced its first 3D video communication platform, Google Beam. This new AI-first video communications platform transforms 2D video streams into realistic 3D experiences using an array of cameras and AI, rendering users on a 3D light field display. As per Google, these nuances and translated conversations will feel like they are happening between people physically present. Also, Google Meet is rolling out near real-time speech translation that matches the speaker's voice, tone and expressions, starting in beta with English and Spanish for Google AI Pro and Ultra subscribers. This feature is aimed at breaking down language barriers, enabling smoother and inclusive communication for global teams, remote workers and others. Google also announced generative media models, including VO3, Imagine 4 and Flow. Wayo 3, the latest AI video generator, will now support generating videos with sound, including dialogue and sound effects. As per Google, Wayo 3 will also improve quality when generating videos from text and image prompts. Next one is Imagine 4. This AI image generator boasts of improved accuracy, clarity and detail, especially with textures and texts, supporting up to 2K resolution. It is also better at spelling and typography, making it easier to create your own greeting cards, posters, etc. Flow is a new AI filmmaking tool built on Vio, Imagine and Gemini. It allows creators to adjust video production aspects like camera angles, motions and location, and even extend existing shots. It's available to Google AI Pro and Ultra subscribers. Lyria 2 is Google's latest music generation model and it provides high quality audio content from text prompts and gives you greater creative control over instruments and other characteristics. Google Search is also getting a major upgrade with the introduction of an all new AI mode, offering an end-to-end -end AI experience that supports longer, more complex queries with advanced reasoning. This mode will allow users to automate tasks like booking restaurant reservations or finding event tickets with their approval. Additionally, AI mode enhances the shopping experience with features like virtual try-on, allowing users to upload a photo of themselves to see how clothes might look in real life. The shopping experience is all set to get elevated with this. What do you think? Google also gave a preview of how Android XR will bring its Gemini AI to smart glasses and headsets, aiming to create smarter, more interactive wearable experiences. The Android 16 has introduced a refresh Material 3 design with smoother animations, smarter notifications with live updates and an upgraded Find Hub for tracking devices and items via satellite. Gemini is now deeply integrated across Android, powering tools like Joons, which is an autonomous coding agent in public beta, and Gemini Code Assist. 
Apart from this, Google has introduced new subscription tiers for its AI services. The Google AI Pro offers access to the full suite of AI tools with higher usage limits, while Google AI Ultra, which is priced at $250 per month, provides early access to experimental products like Gemini 2.5 Pro with Deep Think Mode, along with advanced features like Agent Mode. These announcements highlight Google's latest advancements in generative media spanning video, image, and music creation. These innovations will be especially helpful for filmmakers, designers, musicians, and content creators looking to streamline and enhance their creative workflow. So that's all for today. What do you think about these upgrades? Do tell us in the comments. Do share the video with your friends and family and keep watching Gadgets360 for all the latest from the world of tech.